Good evening, sir. A deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days market trading, the 31st of May 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. And you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's uh, assess exactly what happened today. Certainly an interesting session on the FTSE and Sterling today. Uh, also on European markets as well, certainly a U-turn, a sharp U-turn at that too. Now, the uh, market numbers for the close. FTSE surprisingly finished uh, negative, six points. The DAX finished, just about managed to finish positive. The French CAC down 22, the FTSE MIB down 82. IBEX up and the stock 600 more or less negative as well. So quite an impressive U-turn and it certainly has been oscillating all day. Uh, in terms of the uh, GBP USD really, I think that's the... Uh, the focus at present, you can see we initially sold off, okay, given the fact that uh, the Tory lead was eroding, and then all of a sudden we certainly took off on the back of obviously weaker home uh, sales data from the uh, the US uh, side of the equation. Also, we did have another poll as well that actually put the uh, Tories back in the lead, but again, apparently that uh, the news or the uh, that uh, apparently it ha has been cited now that that is a, a, an old. Uh, poll and also it's a new method of counting which really is distorted to a large extent so again one needs to ask the question as to why they'd put out a distorted poll interesting okay interesting to say at least either way that's a status quo at present and there's a lot of polls being released and there will be a lot of volatility as well okay so economic data wise uh, really i think the only uh, additional economic data that actually came out towards the end of the session really uh, towards the uh, US session was US mortgage applications on the weaker side. Mr. Kaplan hawkish as, as usual. Uh, the uh, Canadian GDP missing slightly missing on a uh, quarter on quarter basis, but month on month slightly better. Red Book uh, data as well coming in on the weaker side. Chicago PMI actually we initially came in weak, but then it was revised higher. So again, a distorted number, which again uh, begs the question as to uh, the validity of this data and the authenticity of it as well. According to da Jack Welch, the tweet that he sent out certainly said that he uh, blasted them basically and lambasted them, stating that it was all manipulated like Chinese data. So again, uh, we can only react as traders, okay? Uh, leave the politics to them. Uh, in terms of the US, we're looking forward to US Fed, Fed beige book now and then API oil data will be massive in terms of the next move in, in the price of oil. You currently have um, pending home sales certainly did uh, trigger the massive decline in uh, US equities and that really did uh, trigger the sell-off. If you look at the actual uh, uh, phase or the uh, the actual move in the market, you can see here you've got a bearish engulfing candle. We're holding the previous breakout level though. 10 minute chart you can see here uh, on um, on the uh, gap fill, okay, so we've certainly closed the gap. We're currently in a uh, in a, uh, a symmetrical wedge type pattern now, whether we break north or south, we'll see, okay, in terms of the S&P 500. Okay, so again, pending uh, home sales, certainly coming in weaker, triggering the sell-off, calling the dollar to weaken, and that's why you're seeing the uh, sterling move higher, which in turn sent the FTSE 100 low. So really, what we're, what we're actually trading at the moment, present really is sterling as opposed to the FTSE 100. So I will certainly uh, triggered. Uh, on the I'll uh, certainly short the FTSE, uh, stopped out, and then obviously only to see it reverse in the opposite direction, which really is uh, really frustrating as a trader. But again, you get those whipsaws. So let's see exactly where we stand. Uh, German DAX holding that key uh, resistance at 12,700. We're failing to get past that. It's a key psychological barrier now. Uh, the daily chart, you can see a topping tail. We, I actually thought at one time we would actually break higher up to that 12,800 on the back of obviously weaker inflation data. And uh, Mr. Weedman certainly has put a stop to that now. The latest comments from Mr. Weedman arguing that uh, uh, ECB is starting to discuss whether to change guidance. So again, certainly are attempting to change its guidance. So that's the status quo at present, also arguing towards banks helping the banking sector. So I think the European stocks or European uh, uh, Europeans certainly don't want their repeat of the uh, the previous uh, obviously uh, shenanigans with regards to the banks going under. So again, the, they're trying to protect the profit model of banks by obviously raising rates uh, in terms of the Eurozone. Okay, so again, uh, status quo uh, is that we've <laughs> certainly very volatile. You can see we rallied up to 12.710. We sold off back down 12.610. We rallied back up 12.690. Then we sold back off 12.615. You try and explain that price action. I just don't know. Okay. Okay, so I, I just don't know. And USD CH CNY now apparently is falling as well. Apparently that's the most important chart at present, so I'll just retweet that on Forex Live. 
interesting day today. A lot of uh, activity at present. Okay, a lot of activity, and it's the ability to read that activity really that will count. FTSE 100, very strange price action again. As you can see here, FTSE climbs, gaps higher. Uh, initially, I was looking for the HS formation, the FTSE to play out this pattern here, folks. Okay, so you had a perfect HS formation looking for it to flush. We obviously short squeeze in the opposite direction, led by Sterling obviously falling below that key uh, 1.28 level only for it to reverse. So you can see FTSE hit a pivot high of uh, 7586 only to hit go back right back down to 7520 and, and then neutral for the day. If you look at the daily chart, the FTSE 100, you can see it's a topping tail, quite an impressive one. Uh, impressive one, you do have a rising contracting wedge pattern as well. Okay, bias certainly argue, one could argue on the downside, so bear that in mind, okay? 60 minute chart, the FTSE really, it's a higher highs, higher lows still, just about, okay, just about. So again, just keep an eye on that, just about. You do have diagonal trend line support. We'll see exactly what happens here now. Whether or not we actually uh, tr uh, trigger some sort of h &S formation here, I don't know. Okay, so again, you could get a thrust here, 7550, 7560, and then you could possibly potentially reverse lower. Again, that certainly is a possibility. So uh, certainly be aware of that. Again, you have this uh, ri rising, con uh, extra expanding wedge type pattern again, so uh, certainly remaining open to that in terms of the FTSE, okay? Keep watching Sterling as well in terms of its move. Okay, next move, next uh, index. Let's look at the French CAC. French CAC closes the gap. Obviously, r r sh sells off quite sharply on the French CAC here. Okay, and closes down sharply as well at the uh, the three uh, five two eighty level. So it's interesting. Okay, gap fill certainly closed, and uh, we certainly witness weakness. Sixty minute chart. You have the diagonal trend line fib resistance as well. You do have horizontal support at five two eighty. So we'll see. We should. Uh, we should. We, well, we certainly expect a bounce from five two eighty on the uh, the French CAC going forward, especially given the fact that the inflation numbers today certainly did trigger a rally in European equities. Okay, even though German retail sales came in weaker. European stocks. Last but not least, uh, you do have an inverted head and shoulders formation pattern, which I'm looking at at present looking to potentially target the gap above at 3640 again like i said led by the weaker inflation data okay so i think that's a good summation really keep an eye on euro as well we are looking for a potential top in the euro here now from my perspective certainly looks like it's topping out 60 minute charts held 1.1250 okay so looking for a top uh, especially given the fact that weaker inflation numbers came in today we have had weaker us data so again certainly has been quashed to a large extent but i think that's all factored in now and you are looking for a weaker euro and a stronger a stronger dollar at present okay on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.